Hello there, this is Anton, Anton Will Bay. welcome to Five Figures. Today I'm looking at, well, I'm looking at the original Marvel Legends X-Men, uh, or I should say Marvel Legends original X-Men. This thing came out quite a while ago, and honestly, everybody I've seen review this, which is only two different people, I've heard Shardimus review these, and he thought they were okay, and uh, one of the first Glenn Webb videos I ever watched, he reviewed these. And he just trashed these things. He hated them. And so I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. These are not the best Marvel Legends figures ever. But we're going to take a quick look at them, just in retrospect. Um, immediately, and maybe you can't tell through the camera, but a lot of the yellows don't match. This yellow here with his trunks definitely doesn't match the chest. The boots from one part to the next doesn't match on most of them. There's some definite issues. And Cyclops here was made from the, oh, what was it, the, the Bucky Cap mold? Yeah, so he's, uh, the molds on these were getting pretty wobbly at the time. So, yeah, I'm glad they finally kind of phased those out. But definitely some looseness in the upper torso. Other than that, he's got standard Marvel Legends articulation. Um, good posability. He doesn't have the slipping strap problem like the other Cyclops. And honestly... This is probably one of the strongest of this whole group. He's got nice flexibility. He's a good figure. I'm gonna put him in the good category. Um, if I can get him to restand. These were all sold as a five pack. So that was, take that for what it was. Um, he's the best. Next I'm gonna look at what I think is probably the second best. And that is probably Jean Grey, Marvel Girl. Once again, you have some plastic coloring issues where this has got paint on it, this does not. And so the paint colors are definitely different in the yellows from hand to wrist gauntlet. Other than that, and the same being just as bad on her feet. I don't know if you can kind of make out how, yeah, I think you can probably see that, how awkward that, that color, I'm gonna say the word jarring that color difference is it's because I think this is straight plastic and I think this got a wash on it now other than that she is pretty darn nice I think these ball joints and the hips are a little bit weird this is earlier Hasbro so I, I think that's different than normal but there's an upper thigh cut right next to a strange kind of awkward ball joint I don't think it's I don't think that's exactly how they make it anymore I think it's changed since then um, the face sculpt is not bad. I will give it that. Uh, it's got a decent ab crunch. Doesn't do a lot, but it does something. And once again, I mean, it is what it is. This is older Hasbro. And I'm pretty sure this is long before uh, there was any hope that they would ever acquire the rights to X-Men. Disney was never going to acquire the rights to X-Men. Therefore, Hasbro was never going to make money on X-Men other than their figures. I don't know, there was some whole deal where X-Men were just really not uh, the main market point for, for Marvel Legends for a long time. So the fact that they made any at all says something, but these were definitely not uh, the top tier effort. And third best is going to go to uh, this Angel figure. Once again, terribly obvious differences of color from here to here. And I, that's not just an age thing. That is just the way these things were. He's also got the loose torso thing. Only his is compounded by the extreme weight of these wings. The wings look good, but they don't really move or do anything. They just have one peg. If you're going to make a heavy set of wings like this, you really should have two pegs to hold that in place to keep him from doing this all the time. Other than that, his facial expression, I've heard a lot of people complain about. Not the best. But essentially, other than the wings and the face sculpt, he's the same figure as Cyclops, and he's really not that bad. But you can definitely see, there is a wobble there. A lot of wobble. So we may or may not be able to get him to stand. There he stands. All right, then the next up is Beast. Beast on the surface looks really good, but there is some definite weird decisions that got made here. The complete lack of ankle, or uh, wrist or ankle. Well, I guess he has ankles. Uh, wrist movement. He doesn't have any bicep cut, or uh, he has no wrist cut. He has nothing from the elbow down. He has double jointed elbow, but then down 
nothing. So it doesn't do anything, which you would kind of think that you would throw some more articulation on that, especially where he's got such big, obvious, beefy hands. Um, he does have a variation in color, but it's probably the least of any of them. This is almost identical. I wouldn't even mention it except that it's there. And he's got good articulation. You got good feet articulation, ankle articulation, uh, uh, calf swivel, all that stuff is good. It's just the decision to not put any uh, articulation in his hands is a little bit weird. Other than that, I think he's tremendously good. He's just hard to get that concept of beastiness without being able to move his wrist. Just seems a little odd. And then we come to the badness. We come to the shit burger of this group. And even though I love this set, there is no denying. This figure is fucking horrible. The ball jointed thighs or the ball jointed like hips here are just awkward. They're really awkward. His ab crunch is so loose that he slides off center of himself. That's not good. And to me, I can like see translucent ribs in here. I don't know. There's like a weirdness going on with that. That's not good. Uh, these hips are awful. These are old, like, uh, gosh, these are almost like uh, Toy Biz hips. They're just bad. The ankles are the same way. They have, a, like, a rocker pivot, pivot, but it doesn't move the way you'd think it needed to. And it has, like, a weird sleeve quality to it. And I've heard everybody bitch about this figure, and, you know, I've tried to kind of, like, go easy on it. It is really bad. The face sculpt is really bad, too. It is not good. And... For what it's worth, I also feel like he should have, like, boots on. Because the original... I know this is based off the, the comic, the later comic, not the original original X-Men. I feel like the design, he needed boots. Look, the, the gap is so bad in the torso, you can see light through it. There's red on the other side. So, I definitely... If you get this set, just kind of put the Iceman in a drawer... And get that newer Iceman that came out and just put him in there because that's going to be better. This one is really bad. Everybody else, I think, is good enough for the day and good enough for the era. But that Iceman, that's pretty rough, dude. That's nasty. Anyway, that's my story and I will catch you guys later. Bye.